Hello and welcome to this checkmate into chess puzzle. You can see that black just has the king, two pawns and two knights at the side of the board. White has the king, two knights, a bishop and a rook. It's white's turn. Can you see the checkmate in two? The next best checkmate after the checkmate in two is actually a checkmate in five. You do this by moving in the king. Black tries to push the pawns and then move in the knights. Black can try and move out their knight, but then you can take it with the bishop. They can promote their pawn. Then you can move the bishop back to checkmate in five, but obviously not two. Taking the black pawn with the white bishop doesn't get you a checkmate in two because black can take back with the knight. White then has to move the king. Taking the pawn with the knight on b5 doesn't get you a checkmate in two because after a series of trades, black can escape doesn't get checkmated. And taking the knight with the bishop doesn't get you a checkmate in two because black can move out their knight and there's no follow-ups that will checkmate the king. Let's have a look at the solution to this one. So pause the video if you need more time. To get the checkmate in two, you need to move the knight to c6. If black pushes the c-pawn, you can then move the rook to b4 to checkmate in two. If black pushes the b-pawn, you can still move the rook to b4 to checkmate. If black moves the knight to b1, you can move the bishop to b5 to checkmate the king. And obviously the same thing happens if black moves the knight to c2, you can again move him with the bishop to b5 to checkmate in two. Okay, that's the end of this one. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.